Hey y'all, welcome back to Vanna Reels. You want to see how I achieve this blowout look? Keep watching. All right, first things first, we have to section out our hair into four because baby, I'm tender headed and that makes the blow drying process easier and more manageable. So basically, I'm only blow drying my hair out to achieve enough of the blowout to get my hair braided down for under my wigs. So when I wear some of my more like shorter wigs, I have to really be pristine about my braids. So since I'm not a braider, I go to my stylist and I have her um, perform her wig braid down service. And that's how I'm able to achieve the flatter look under my wigs. So as you see, I'm just detangling my hair before I blow dry, which is a very important step. If you know that your hair is very curly and it tangles easily, detangling before really helps the blow dry process. So as you can see, I'm doing it in my four sections and I'm going to move on to the other side. And then I'm also going to show you the product I use while I'm detangling as my leave-in. And that's how much I'm actually seeing of shedding coming out. So now I'm spraying my Tresemme uh, heat protective spray, which I love and I've been using for years. Absolutely adore it. And I'm going to go ahead and start that first section out by blow drying. And I just really wanted to speed up this video so you could just honestly see the work and hear me speak about it. So I'm starting in the back because that's usually where it's the hardest for me because of the reach. And I start in the back and I just do the blow dry enough where it's dry enough because I'm the type of person where it's hot when I'm blow drying because it's just heat, right? So I get very hot. You see how I wipe my face? I'm getting hot. So I just braid it enough down. I blow dry it enough down to braid it. Then I move on to my next section and spray and repeat. So you'll see me follow through on this process throughout my whole head in order to get that where I need it to be. So I just going through, I'm still on that first side and eventually I'm going to move over to the next side. So now you'll see me taking out that back section and now blow drying the full one side together because I already know that I didn't fully blow out. So I'm going to go back in and reinforce that dry and that's what I'm doing. And you'll see me repeat that on the other side right there. So you see, I'm starting on that next side. I'm detangling before I'm doing the same process, same steps because you still have to detangle your way through. That's one thing I know about my hair. My hair is very curly and tight and coily, so I have to detangle as much as I can. Send that comb through before you send that comb attachment through on your blow dryer. And that's something that's very vital. I believe when you have natural hair, you should use the comb attachment. I'm using the red, I think international, uh, I think that's what it's called. That's the brand it's called. I'm using that blow dryer and it comes with multiple attachments. I purchased this from Walmart for like, I think maybe $16 or $20, like a couple years ago. And I've been loving this thing because it just has a diffuser. It has the comb attachment and it has the regular blow dry attachment. And I utilize most of them, honestly, especially the diffuser on my curly wigs. Or if I want to just do a wash and go, which I rarely do, but mostly on my curly wigs, I'm using that diffuser and comb attachment for this. So as you see, I'm in the front section now on the other side. And I'm going through, I'm getting it done, baby, getting it done. Okay, got to get that done. Baby, I know I'm hot. I can just see myself. I can tell how hot I am while I'm watching this. But y'all, we just going to keep going. Y'all, I'm showing you. So this is what I have to do. The cool setting on there, baby. Look, see, look. Look how hot I am. I have to go in and get that perimeter and hit it with the cool air because my edges literally curl. Look how they curl up. I blow dry my hair and it literally curls up within seconds. I wanted to slow that down and show y'all that. But back to the fast pace. So now we're taking it all out, all out because we need to do that one last blow dry. And I put some oil in my hair because baby, don't let your hair get dry. Cause that Tresemme, spray just enough cause it'll dry your hair out. It will dry you out, okay? So I'm going through I'm reinforcing that dry and I'm getting it ready and steady so I can finish this up because I've been blow drying for probably an hour at this point. It might have been 45 minutes, but it felt like an hour because I just want to make sure it's enough. 
Now also remember, when you're doing a silk press, you need to do a little more blow drying than this before a wig braid down, that's enough. Now you see me, now here, I have to go into my perimeter and really get that tightened up again because I was sweating even more. Like when I tell y'all I get so hot while I'm blow drying, this is why I don't, I rarely blow dry my hair. Only when I have to get this done. All right, y'all, I'm back. My hair is braided down. I went to my hairstylist because she does a very good braid down style and I'm just, I can't achieve this at home. So when I have to wear a certain amount of my wigs, I like to come and get this done because she just really gets me together. Y'all can see my hair is all snatched up, snatched back. Girl, we got our straight backs. We are ready to put on our wig. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, me showing you how I blow dry my hair to get ready to come to my stylist so she can braid it down. And she had to go in and blow dry it a little bit more than what I did this morning because I just naturally sweat in my head. So from me achieving that this morning and then coming out here, like, you know, coming to show up at her salon, I was sweating in my head. So she had to straighten me out. But she got me together, child. And let me tell you, my wig is going to be laid flat. I wonder if y'all can see the back. Can y'all see the back? I hope so. I guess I'll see when I edit if y'all can actually see the back. But I hope you all enjoyed this how to take care of your natural hair when you need to blow dry it and get ready for whatever style you're going to. Now, I will say when you blow dry your natural hair to do a silk press, you need to blow dry it a little more refined than what I did. But if you're going to get a braid down and things like that or going to get your braids done, that is the best way that I know how to blow dry my hair and doing it in four sections just makes it ultimately very easy for me because I'm tender headed at the same time. So I have to do a lot of detangling even before I wash my hair initially. So yes, I hope you all enjoyed it and please come back for more videos for me. Make sure you hit that subscribe, like and comment down below what your favorite type of styles are, like how you blow dry your hair or you know how do you like different ways like your favorite uh blow dryer like you know let me know in the comments just let me know y'all i'm very interested but all right i'll talk to you guys soon. know a thing about me no i'm taking risks start recording in 06 now it's making sense